In this tutorial, we'll express a complex number of z in modulus argument form. In a previous video, I explained what modulus argument form is. And now I'll show you how to rewrite a complex number. So let us say that we have z equals to negative 24 plus 10i. And what we want to do is find the modulus and find the argument. So to find the modulus, we take the square root of negative 24 squared plus 10 squared, which is the A and B value. And when we simplify that, we have that is equal to 26. Next, we need to find the argument. So what I like to do is use a rough sketch to help me find the argument. So I have the imaginary axis and the real axis, and I plot that point on the complex plane. So the argument would be the angle between the real axis and that point. Now remember, to find an angle with complex numbers, we would need to set our calculator to radians. Also, what I would like to do is consider moving all the way back to the real axis. So that is pi radians. And I would subtract this reference angle in that triangle. Now to find that reference angle, I'll consider the tangent because we have the opposite length and we have the adjacent length. So the argument would be pi minus that reference angle, which is the arctan of 10 over 24. And remember, we use the absolute values when we find this reference angle. So that simplifies to 2.747. Now, we need to rewrite the real value and the complex value in terms of trigonometric ratios. So the real value would be equals to negative 24 equals to 26 times cos of 2.747. And the imaginary value would be 10 is equals to 26 times sine of 2.747. So that means I can rewrite z as 26 cos 2.747 plus i times 26 sine of 2.747. And notice that we can take out a greatest common value of 26 which is the modulus of our complex number. So z is equal to 26 times cos of 2.747 plus i times sine of 2.747. And that is how we rewrite a complex number in modulus argument form.